Hi everyone, my name is Rianne. Welcome back to another video. I'm gonna do the second design with me video. The first one was really well received by you guys, so I'm hoping to make this a reoccurring series on my channel. Really excited for the project that we are working on. Let's just jump right into it. The project that we are working on is branding for a hard kombucha brand called El Mar. And I created a little brand backstory. El Mar means the sea in Spanish. This is a kombucha brand that's inspired by the sea. And it's not the upbeat energy of the beach that I'm talking about. It's more so the poetic representation of the sea. When I was brainstorming for the brand, I was thinking about waves, memories, nostalgia. El Mar is brewed in small batches. They value craftsmanship and storytelling. Before the brand font, I I'm looking for a serif font because I want that more elevated feeling, but I'm looking for one that is also quite artistic and not super traditional. So we are choosing between Anglesia, Ashbury, and Kawasze. I'm probably butchering that. I also want the font to represent the push and pull of waves, so I want it to be very flowy. Looking at the Anglesia Pro display, I really love how the serifs are kind of like drops of water and they're like thicker and more rounded, but I do think that they're still sharp corners so it doesn't look very flowy to me, so maybe not that one. The Ashbury one I really love. It reminds me of a poetry book. I really think that the curves of the letter flow into each other, so this is a very good option. For the last option, we have the Kawose. I love, again, that drop serif. It reminds me of water. This one also has the sharp corners, but I do love this one. I'm not gonna lie, I love this one. I think that the Ashbury is quite a predictable choice, so I want to go with something different. So we're gonna go with the Kawose. This is what Elmar looks like in the Kawose font. I'm gonna see what it looks like in all lowercase and all caps. Ooh, I kind of like the all caps. I like that it has a lot more of that drop serif. So I'm going to use the all caps. Now that we have our word mark, I want to make a monogram for the brand. Just playing around with combining the E and the M, connecting these two lines. That looks nice! I actually like that already. And I was playing around with adding like a slogan or an established year or something that you would put like on stationery because I am going back to that nostalgic memories idea for the brand and thinking of messages in a bottle or like love letters written at a beach. I'm thinking of putting the monogram in like a bottle like shape. We have our word mark, we also have our monogram system. Now we're going to move on to brand colors, which is always very fun and exciting. Choosing brand colors, it really depends on the personality of the brand, if they are more colorful, if um, you want to have like primary colors and secondary brand colors. But for Elmar, I'm thinking of keeping it very simple. I really am inspired by this 
particular image that I found on Pinterest. I just love how the colors work. I love that they're grounded. I love the green with the blue, with the kind of beige of the stone. And the colors that I'm choosing for the brand, maybe you can already tell, are earthy, grounded, colors with hints of brown and ones that aren't super saturated. After picking out the brand colors, I also played with the monogram and made shapes that are in the brand colors, which I think looks really fun and beautiful. So now we have all of our brand elements. If you're creating a brand guideline, of course you would need a lot more, but for what we're doing today, I think this works. The next step that we are going to do, and we're actually at the last part of the project, I want to design how the bottles themselves would look like. It'd be really cute for it to be in glass bottles, similar to maybe like a beer bottle. I'm thinking of actually using this shape that we used for the monogram. Maybe I can put an image within the shape that ties back into the whole memory poetic feeling. I don't love, love it. So that is it for today's design project. Thank you so much for following along. I hope that you enjoyed watching. And as I said earlier, I'm trying to make these Design With Me videos a reoccurring thing on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe. I will now mock these up and I will show you the end process right after this clip.